each year, Olivia Vivian has a first. Can this be the first year she makes it into stage three of the grand final? Crawford, the first female ninja to climb the warp wall, onto the power tower, into the grand final, and last year, the first to make stage two. And here she is again. A fantastic record, Beck. The big worry tonight is the time limit. Can she do six obstacles in 3.35? Come on, now. There's boyfriend Ben Paulson, the champ. His crown is on the line tonight. Here we go. Olivia Vivian takes off on the rolling steel. She's imagined all of her moves. She's planned it out in her head. And now it's time to do it. And she kicks and pushes and finds her way through obstacle number one. And we are away, Olivia Vivian! This is going to be a tough ask for Olivia Vivian tonight. We have so many obstacles that are arm burners back this. to back. This is another one of them. Up she goes on the salmon ladder, making sure her grip is just perfect. One, two... She beats business. Have a look at her go. She's going all one side. Careful through. She's got it. Look at her go. Look at her go. Legend. Well, she's got to pick up the pace here. Come on, back yourself. We're now coming back up yourself. to the mark. We're You've almost a minute gone in her run. She's up to obstacle number three. She's got to complete this and three others in 2.35. That's under 40 seconds per obstacle. And this on, is huge for Olivia Vivian. Come on, Olivia. But she's a gymnast, a Let's former do it. Olympic gymnast. She can't. Oh, no. Oh, I don't know what happened what there, happened? but that's a shock. That is a real shock. We thought that she could certainly finish this course tonight, but Olivia Vivian has crashed out of grand final two on obstacle three. Olivia, Dang. what are you doing to us? Time limit is just so tight tonight. It was sort of a had to go for it, had to send it, otherwise I wasn't going to get to that buzzer anyway. We've got a replay for you, so here, feast your eyes on this, Olivia Vivian, you're going to love it. It's such a tough grip, you have to give it everything you've got. And as I went to pull from my arms, I just didn't have it to hold on to uh, that ledge, it's, it's tight. You must be very, very proud of how you've been going this year. No, absolutely. You know, I come in every year. I truly do back myself, believe in myself. You're an absolute superstar. We love you. Olivia Vivian, what a champion she is. Ben Paulson is back to defend his title. And the king arrives here at Sydney Olympic Park. This is a place where legends have been made. But in the case of Ben Paulson, he's already done it. Did it 12 months ago. But then comes the pressure, Beck. You can do it once. Can you do it twice? Can you back up? He's back to defend his title. The king is in the building. On the sideline, the champion that is Olivia Vivian, his number one supporter. No ninja in the world has ever won back-to-back -back titles. Can Ben Paulson take a giant step towards that? 3.35 on the clock. And that clock starts ticking right now. He's off and away on the rolling steel kicking those legs like a duck underneath water. First obstacle done for the champion. Nice salmon ladder to unstable bridge. I mean, we've seen everything that this guy is capable of in season four One, of Australian Ninja Warrior. Two. But he needs to back it three, up this year. Can he do that? A lot of pressure on his shoulders this season. He uses those shoulders and those biceps and those elbows and those arms. Oh, what about that for a leap? That's like a giant leaping over small buildings. 2.56 now. Eye beam gap. Ben knows this is where Olivia Vivian came off. Needs to keep his concentration and keep his feet up. Here comes Lachey. Yeah. Oh, oh no. no! And he's got no second chance advantage here, Ben Paulson. That so is that it. is it. Can you believe it? The defending champion is out of Australian Ninja Warrior. We thought he could go all the way this season. We thought he was capable of going back to back, but that is not to be for Ben Paulson. Oh my goodness, take a look at that. He's the tallest ninja, so I think he was worried about dragging his feet. There was a little look down just before he went for the leap, and when he made it, he had his eyes on the prize, but the hands just weren't coming to the party.
Ben Polson, what do you say? What do you say after that? You are the king. How are you feeling? What's going through your head right now? Um, yeah, look, I think, to be honest, I wasn't as, definitely wasn't as focused at the start of that run as I have been previously. Um, you know, it's, it's tough. Ninja is about 70% mindset for me, and uh, seeing the course, seeing the obstacles, it's bigger, it's badder, it's better, and that gets to you psychologically, and I think that just got to me tonight. Uh, you'll be back, and, and we can never take away that uh, you were the first Australian ever to conquer Mount Midoriyama. Ben Polson, great to have you a part of the competition. Thank you so much. Thanks, Australia. It is a reminder, Beck, about the anger being displayed by the obstacle course this year from Mount Midoriyama down. And when you've got the clock ticking, sometimes you do things that you otherwise would not do. First is a ninja who managed to scale Mount Midoriyama last year, only to miss out on the title in heartbreaking fashion. He's back again to rewrite history. This is Charlie Roberts. by becoming Australian Ninja Warrior by one second last year, and he's back with a vengeance. This is such a big moment for Charlie Robbins. He has just looked down the line, looked at the obstacles, and that is what stands in between him and another crack at Mount Midoriyama. There's also the element of him and Zach Stoltz, great mates, and only one of them can take home $100,000 as the furthest fastest. If you get all the way to the top of Mount Midoriyama, $200,000. Out of nearly 200 ninjas, only two remain. I can guarantee you, whoever wins will shout the other a beer. Here we go. Charlie Robbins is up and away. Now, Beck, just explain what he's got to do here. It's the crisscross to salmon ladder slingshot. You start going up by two runs, and then you've got to go back to where you came from. Strands it up. That's a great recovery. OK, now you come back to where you went before. Very confusing, this first obstacle. Nicely done. Now, oh, oh, no. Charlie Robbins is gone. Oh, no. And all of a sudden, Zach Stoltz's chances have dramatically improved. Oh, the first ninja out on obstacle one, Ben Fordham. It just goes to show you, even though stage three is untimed, you can take as much time as you want. They've got the $100,000 in their mind. And therefore, he's thinking, I want to get a wriggle on. I don't want to muck around here. Well, Charlie, I know you've got a big smile on your face. There's your hat. You. What on earth happened? We're all lost for words. We don't know what to say. <laughs> yeah, I was feeling pretty decent. I obviously had that little bit of a miscatch, I suppose you'd call it, on that um, transfer. But, um, yeah, the reach from the Sam Ladder bar to the Slingshot bar was probably a little bit further, and that might have just made me slip out at the back on that one. But, yeah, that's what it is. Please put your hands together for a superstar. His name is Charlie Robbins. Good on you, mate. Well yeah, he was so close to taking out the title of Australian Ninja Warrior last year and $400,000. So can he get redemption? Bring on Zach Stoltz. Big moment, Beck. Huge moment for Zach Stoltz. $100,000 for furthest fastest or $200,000 on top of Mount Midoriyama. Zach Stoltz has run the course twice tonight. We're now at stage three. Does he have anything left in the tank? We're about to find out. The three key women in Zach's life. His girlfriend, his mum and his grandmother, they've been lifesavers to him, particularly when he lost his dad. Have a look at the faces on them. They are one part nervous, one part proud. And we are every part excited. Come on, Australia, this is it. This is the conclusion. Season five. Here he goes, Zach Stoltz, crisscross salmon ladder to slingshot. If he can make it up onto the slingshot and then finish the obstacle, he will be 2021's furthest fastest. He crisscrosses back across and then he's got to go up a full three runs. Oh, we're up, we're up. And now there's another crisscross. OK, here he goes, just making the transfer. And then he will go onto the bungees. This 
is a parallel bar he needs to jump onto. Yeah. The tension in every single one of these bungees is different. It's going to feel different every time he lands it. Oh, Zach Stoltz. Oh. He's on course to be season five furthest so fastest. High. But can he seal the deal by completing this obstacle? Catches it again. Here comes Zach Croft. But now it's Zach against Mount Midoriyama. Can he complete stage three? $200,000 on the line. This is the doorknob drop. Up he goes, taking the first doorknob. Just keep in mind how small these knobs are. This arm will bend when his body weight gets there. It's a little bit of a nasty jolt too. Hang on, Zach Stoltz. OK, he'll make the transfer now. On to the next set of knobs. This is unbelievable. The strength. Oh, the, look at the agony. The strength that is required in your fingertips is insane. Go, Zach. Locks himself in. Oh, look at him hurting. He is absolutely gutted at the moment. But he's still fighting along the course. Can he make this slash A? Oh. Here he Come goes. Come on, Zach. Oh, oh look at the bounce on it. It's a huge leap. Oh, oh he's oh, in the water. The he's in the water. But he Zach I think it's fair to say that that little fish jump into the water was the moment that Zach Stoltz and his team of superstar women realise that he has gone furthest fastest in 2021. That's yeah. girlfriend Georgia, mum Joanne and nan Sherilyn. But this year Mount Midoriyama has come back with a vengeance. Our ninjas have given everything they've got but the mountain eludes them this time. Look at all of his fellow ninjas. They've been on this journey as well with him. They don't do this alone. Yes, it is man V course, but it's ninjas V course as well. They all support one another. They are a huge family in every corner of Australia. And there is our winner for 2021. Furthest fastest, Zach Stoltz. Well, what a special moment right from the beginning when he stepped onto the course in season three. Never say die stuff from Zach Stoltz. We knew Zach Stoltz was something special. Backed by his mum Jo, his mates Flashlin, Ashlyn Herbert and Troy Cullen, he became a phenomenon. And he was one of three to pull off the near impossible last year. But victory eluded him until now. Thrilling finish to this season, Ben, and here we are at the base of Mount Midoriyama, and that very angry mountain remains untouched for now. That will have to wait for next year. We had two ninjas who went very close this year, Charlie Robbins and Zach Stoltz. But one winner, our furthest fastest for 2021, is, of course, officially... Zach, Zach Stoltz! Stoltz. Furthest fastest, you must be so thrilled. Uh, over the moon, but like honestly, it hasn't hit me yet. It's uh, it's just crazy. I still feel like it hasn't happened. You rock through all of these is undoubtedly your mum, Joanne. Absolutely. Tell us about your mum. Look, she has absolutely been my rock, and I wouldn't be where I am right now and anywhere in life without her. So I owe it all. Let's put our hands oh, together for Jo and Zach. The winner of Australian Ninja Warrior for 2021. There's only one more thing to do now, and that is present the trophy. Everyone, a big round of applause yeah. for Zach Stoltz. There you go. Come and join in. <laughs> there it is. The conclusion of 2021, Zach Stoltz, and it couldn't happen to a nicer bloke there. Absolutely.